you guys, Drew here from Lone Fox. We're starting on a somber note in this video, which I feel like never really happens, but I wanted to take a moment uh, just to let you guys know because I feel like Roger really made an impact on everyone here on the channel. Like, I know that you guys really, really loved the video with him, and I am so, so grateful I was able to film that video with him because, as you guys can see from the first couple seconds of this video, he actually just recently passed away the other day, and I found out about this when I was actually on the YouTube summit trip that I mentioned. And I do have some footage from that, which I do want to include in this video, but I did want to start off just kind of dedicating this intro to Roger because it was just all of a sudden and just very out of the blue. I ended up actually getting a email from his son just asking if we had our lease agreement on hand that we could hand over to him just because he wanted to see it. And I mentioned that, you know, we were just on a month to month basis with Roger. We've been living there for like two and a half years now, which was the case. And then I ended up sending him a voice memo just to kind of explain it a bit more in detail. And he said he was gonna be stopping by the property every now and then. And when I heard that, it kind of was like, wait, what do you mean stopping by the property every now and then? Like, I kind of was like, is Roger not okay? What's happening? And so he ended up basically saying that Roger had a stroke um, in the middle of the night and he ended up having to go to the hospital, of course. And then I believe two days later, um, he passed away in the hospital. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. I'm so thankful I was able to show Roger the apartment that I made over and I it, I just don't even really know what to say it just felt so weird like when Marie and I heard this we were like what it was just so random and unexpected but I do know of course that he was older and it can come you know it can come when you're older it can happen I don't I, mean, I don't know I'm just I'm so awkward when it comes to situations like this too. Like I don't know how to like thoroughly process them or even portray them on camera like I'm an awkward person when any kind of like negative um, situation occurs you know so i didn't let you guys know that and i kind of wanted the comment section just to be a nice little remembrance of roger i know that you guys didn't know him as much as i did but i thought it would be a nice place to maybe write something about him for his family to see uh, because i know that they watch my videos i actually met his cousin the other day and she actually lived in the unit to the right of where we currently live for 11 years which is very very random um but it was great meeting some of his family the other day and i mainly wanted to let you guys know because so many of you were asking if i I was going to be doing his apartment in the future or like you know what was going to happen will i be back to visit roger and you know that was the plan i really wanted to go back and maybe do a makeover or help him with a couple spaces in there and on top of finding out about roger i actually got a text message a couple hours before from the guy that has been sanding the floors which you guys saw in the last video and his brother actually passed away uh in el salvador and he had to go be with his brother so he is not going to be back until october 12th i literally said do what you need to do not worry about my floors but I walked in today and they are all completely sanded, which is absolutely insane, you guys. Like, I've gotta show you what the sanded floors look like and then I wanna pop back just a little bit to the YouTube Summit footage. I just have to share it with you guys. Like, I, I had such a great time. So let me share with you the floors first. Now, if you guys remember, these used to be dark wood and now they are so extremely light. I believe this is white oak is what we found out and it is quarter sawn. So I kept on saying it wrong in the last video. This is quarter sawn oak, meaning that the oak planks are taken from the core of the tree. And that's why you get these little, um, I forget the actual term for these. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Uh, one person in the last video actually really described them quite nicely and I love them. They add so much character to the wood, but this is really a premium grade hardwood. And I cannot believe these are the original hardwoods that we got looking like this. Like these have been here for a hundred years, you guys. Now, of course, in the upper unit, there is a bunch of dark stains and these are from dog pee, believe it or not. I'm going to see if I can try to get some of it out. And if any of you guys have any tips on that, or if you even think it's possible to remove some of the staining, let me know. I am planning on going darker with the stain up here. And I know some of you guys are like, wait, up here, what do you mean? Um, because I might have a different idea for downstairs, which was not the original plan, but I'll share it with you guys in a minute. Check out this room. You can see how beautiful these hardwoods are in this room here. We have the dining room over here. Some dog pee stains. And then the hallway has quite a bit. Like those dogs really loved going in the hallway. This is the room I say that always has like reddish tint to it, which is going to be Marie's room. Looking into here, bathroom there. This is my bedroom. Quite a big dog stain there. That's what that's looking like. And then the other guest room is over here. But I gotta also share with you guys the downstairs. You need to see how perfect the hardwoods are. 
So as you guys know, the hardwood floors upstairs were dark previously. The ones downstairs were kind of like a yellowy toned stain, which I just didn't love. And they ended up sanding the bottom as well, which I'm so surprised they got all of this done before he had to leave. And look at how freaking stunning these floors are. Now I know that there's this like kind of stuff everywhere. This is just wood filler to fill in some of the gap areas. They're gonna go sand over the top of this again to get that away. But I have to share with you throughout the rest of the space, the wood is in perfect condition. No stains anywhere else at all. Like the wood is beautiful. Look at this, you guys. So I'm thinking maybe, should I do like a light stain down here? I know that that wasn't the original idea. And here are some reference photos for some light stained floors. These are like a light to medium tone and don't stare at the grain pattern, more so look at the tone of the color. So something along the lines of this. I do have so much house that maybe having two different colors of stain won't be too bad. And I'm just thinking of going like a little bit lighter than upstairs. So the upstairs will be darker. This might be like a lightish medium tone. So what are your thoughts on that? Would you keep it all one color? Um, I'm just only saying that because the light wood floors, how light they are is so amazing without any staining, like throughout all of it. It's so, so beautiful. So I was thinking because it's in such great condition down here, maybe we can keep it light or like a lightish medium and then upstairs go darker to hide some of that staining. But I also know I do want some dark wood. That was my original idea anyways. So that's kind of my thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking about that. I now kind of like the idea of having two options, a lighter one downstairs, because as you guys know, I also do shoot a lot of content. So having the two different floor options could be nice um, for styling purposes. If you also remember, this area here used to be a big open hole leading right down to the basement. Uh, they actually patched this with some wood, so it's now a perfect little walkway. There is like this tiny gap here, which I'm not too sure what I can do to fill that in. If any of you guys have an idea for this, totally let me know as well. Hello everyone, we are in the car. And a couple of videos ago, I asked you, would you like to see other random things that weren't maybe related to home, but still kind of about my life and related to Lone Fox, you know? And a lot of you guys said, yes, we want to see everything. And I said in that video, I had nothing planned. Well, my last video, I went to New York. And in this video, I am now on my way to Palm Springs to the YouTube Creator Summit, which is so exciting. If you have never heard of the Creator Summit, I've heard of it and have always dreamt about going. I've been on YouTube for years. Before Lone Fox, I actually had a fashion channel for about five years and then before that I had a scrapbooking channel for about five years which some of you guys have dug up over my 10 plus years on YouTube I've seen some of my favorite content creators get invited to the creator summit which is where they bring a hundred creators to one area um, and you get to interact with them you get to kind of talk about your content you can collaborate there's also seminars that you could do in little classes just to learn more about your channel and grow your content and I am just so excited to get this opportunity so I'll be in Palm Springs for the next couple of days probably gonna be pretty hot it's actually only it's only 80 right now which I thought it would be quite a bit hotter I got a coffee this morning too only 45 minutes left of the drive and I'll see you guys there I just made it to the lobby and this lobby is beautiful look at this mirror look at this view tapestry these chairs are so cool I love them but I'll have to say that my favorite thing is this little mini chair over here this one this pottery these chairs you guys what are these chairs i need your help these are gorgeous this table it's very brutalist style but i can't tell if it's vintage or what people probably think i'm crazy like all these youtube creators are over here like interacting i'm just staring at the furniture <gasps> this fireplace this is a joke right this is a full-on joke this brutalist light, you guys, I'm screaming. I've always wanted to sit on one of these expensive couches. Oh my god, it's comfortable. I just, I just made it to my room, you guys. Look at how beautiful it is. I am in awe. And then I also have this little sitting area. 
how cute is that with the curtained table? And I just, it's so pretty in here. You guys look over here. We have, um, oh, we have a little chair. Like I have one in my room. Look at the floor, look at the carpet. I just absolutely love hotel design. My dream one day is to do a hotel for sure. I would absolutely love that. Like a little boutique hotel would be so much fun. I've been bad at filming here because Miss Mia and I have been going crazy and doing crazy things and running around. <laughs> Wait, and, have you been vlogging? Uh, no, I forgot because we were having too much fun. Were you planning on vlogging? Yes, uh, that's why I'm just letting everyone okay. know I didn't we, vlog. We could like reenact fun moments. Do you want to go in the hammock? I'll like film you. Oh yeah, okay, roll. great. Okay. Creator summit moment. Yes, oh my gosh, you look like you're having so much fun. I am, it's really fun. <laughs> Yes, one large banana sculpture. I'm just a size reference. <laughs> so that was everything that I filmed while I was at the YouTube Summit. Now today I came over here because I actually picked up a product at Lowe's that I want to test out on the wood trim. So if you guys remember from the last, I believe, Last two videos, we've been stripping down the windows and they're finally at a state where we can add some stain on them. So I picked this product up here. It is the Minwax Poly Shades Stain and Poly in One Step. Now it says you could transform bare wood or you can layer it over a finish. And I stripped these down as well as I can. I wanna see how this looks over the top. I bet you it's like 80% bare wood, 20% finish if anything over the top still. So I'm hoping this product might be a nice option to try out. Let's give it a go. I'm firstly gonna tape off the window uh, just around so I don't get it on the wall. I have this little staining sponge that I found, so I'm just gonna dip it into the corner of the stain, and we are going to test this out. So let's give it a go. Oh, <laughs> that was a weird noise I just made. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that color. Look at that difference in color. So of course it's still a little wet and it did say it's gonna dry satin, which I don't really know what that's gonna look like. I will say this product's a little sticky, it feels like. So I'm curious to see how it's gonna dry down. something to cheer me up today and this window stain is perfect it's really hard to share it with you guys look at the color compared to the ceiling it is like almost spot on I could probably add another coat but I actually kind of like this color more than the ceiling this is the exact color I'm thinking of doing the flooring as well kind of like an orangey old world style which I've shared with you guys a couple photos in the past but if you guys can see the wood color in here it's very similar to my reference photos and this is actually like very similar to the tone I want to get on the floor just a bit more warmth a bit more life and these windows look beautiful the satin finish is actually not even like really recognizable but I do like how at certain angles it has a slight sheen so you can see more of the actual grain and you can see more of the detail in the trim work I think I might retrim around the door because as you guys know, I got those stained glass panels which are gonna be inset. Let me flip the camera. I have those stained glass panels which are gonna be put in place of both of these doors. And as you can see at the moment, there's actually this trim that's going around it. And this trim does not match the original. This was definitely added whenever these stained glass doors were added. So what I'm thinking is when I add in the new stained glass doors or the antique ones, uh, I can actually trim it out and do like a chunky trim on the top to make it more of like a statement of some sort. And I'm not too sure exactly how I want to do that. I think I'm going to go to Lowe's and check out the trim options that they have. But just a wider, chunkier trim 
um, to give the door like more substance and then even bring it up a little bit higher and do like a header on the top of the door or a topper. I don't know the proper terminology for that, but just like something on top that makes it look like a grand door. I actually came across this antique Spanish armoire and if you could imagine the doors on this armoire actually being replaced with the other panels that I got and then that topper is what I'm talking about. So like kind of like a decorative top piece that just adds a little bit more interest to the door and then I would do molding on the sides as well. But back to the mantle, I have a question for you as well. All right, guys, so for the mantle, now I don't believe this is an original mantle. I do believe it was added on. I don't know what it's made of. I'm thinking maybe wood, and I kind of want to know what's under here, but at the same time, I just know I'm not going to keep it. What I'm thinking of actually doing is plastering it, so doing like a pop-out plaster shelf all the way around and just going right over the top of the current mantle. Very similar to actually what's happening downstairs because I just feel like this is very like European, very French, Parisian style and everything else in here is very Spanish, Spanish colonial and it just doesn't fully match in my eyes. So I was thinking of plastering just a simple shelf here and then we can bring the lime wash all the way up and it will be like one cohesive fluid fireplace and elevate it even higher. The sun is setting at the moment, so I am going to head home. I'm super, super hot. It's hot in here. It's really hot. Um, I'm going to head home. I love the way the window trim is looking. It looks beautiful. I'm so, so happy I got that match. I still have to finish up this window over here, and then we're going to have to stain, of course, the trim around the doors when those are in place, which I need to figure out when I can add those. Hmm. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am actually going over some tutorials or I'm looking at a couple of tutorials on how to paint vinyl windows properly. And it seems like everyone's just using a enamel spray paint, which is kind of what I actually used on that chair that I recently made over, the one with like the little ball shapes on it. I used an enamel spray paint and then an etching primer. And so what an etching primer does is it actually etches into the metal and kind of sticks, or the vinyl in this case, it etches into it and actually has the primer kind of bond a bit better but I might also just use the Zinzer spray primer um, so I'm gonna test a couple of those out but I wanted to figure out the best method for doing so and I found something last night that actually really intrigued me I want to share it with you let me look for it really quick okay look at this so I found this product on Etsy and it is actually window cling that sticks to the window but it gives you the look of panes and it's actually pretty affordable. So this is just stick on and I was looking at a couple of the reviews but I mean it looks pretty nice to give you the look of a vintage or an older style window. Um, so I'm considering it. This wasn't the exact listing I found yesterday. Let me find it. This was the one that I found last night. Like look at a couple of these options that they have. I do like the classic dime but this one is also a little interesting kind of a bit gothic revival a uh, Spanish revival and I also like this one I don't know just something to think about I was considering maybe ordering this one right here and maybe this one right here uh, but I do know that if I want to go with the diamond I want the diamonds to be larger I don't want them to be small I want them to be pretty large just to let in more light in the living room but I think I'm gonna order some of this film and see how it looks over the top of the windows it's actually Sunday morning right now when this video is going up so I'm going to be heading over to the house right after this I'm gonna pick up some supplies and I'm going to start painting the insides of all the window trims black so everything from the wood going interior of the window is going to be black which I think is gonna look really nice and even make the wood pop a little bit more and of course we're gonna have curtains on all those windows as well so it's kind of gonna tone down the look just slightly once the curtains are applied so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, I know that the beginning had definitely a a little bit of some sad news but I did want to let you guys know about that um, and it just felt right to tell you like you know I felt like you guys were a part of it as well and I made sure it was okay with his family and everything and they were like please like totally feel free to mention it if you'd like to but yes I will catch you guys all in the next one we are going to have a ton happening in this next upcoming week countertops are being installed um, the floors aren't going to be quite done yet but I might be able to test out a couple of stain options I'm thinking I might test some myself and ask him if if that is all right. So a lot to accomplish this week. I also need to figure out about that plaster um, mantle piece to go over the top of what's currently there because
because I would like to lime wash that all at one time as opposed to having to go back and forth between the process. So just a lot of things to work on. I will let you guys go for today though. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one on Thursday. Bye guys. Bye.